Hey guys, what's up? My name is Zach King, and I tweeted today asking what you'd like to see for a video tutorial on Final Cut 10. And Cameron was one of the first people to tweet back and said he'd like a Final Cut 10 color grading. So I present to you color grading in Final Cut 10. This will be one of the first in a series actually that I'm going to be doing, talking about different color styles. And as we go along, you'll pick up things like learning the video scopes and all the other cool tips and tricks. So this is what I'm calling like a sunset tutorial or more of a warm hues look. And here it is, the original clip. Pretty just gross and raw. And then here it is with the color grading. And what I wanted was this beach to, to look more vibrant and have the sunset. So you can see we've added the pink hues in the sky. So let's start from scratch and you can follow along with the free practice footage download that and we'll have a little bit of fun so I've got the footage loaded in my timeline and if you want to open up the inspector if you don't have that already come over here middle right side check this little button and we've got these parameters that we can adjust and you'll see we have one called color if we toggle it on and off there's nothing's gonna happen because we haven't adjusted anything yet now the first thing we do in color correction is adjust the exposure and we do this in what we call a color board by default, Final Cut puts a color correction on here, a filter. If we toggle it on and off too, there's nothing happening until we adjust it. So hit this little next button and it opens up an area where we have three color options. We can change the color tints, saturation, and exposure. And the first thing we do in color correction is adjust the exposure, make sure we've got the right levels, but we can accurately do this only by looking at video scopes. You can kind of eyeball it, but it's not best practice so hit this little light switch button and come down to show video scopes command 7 is also the key command up here at 100% we have whites and it's not quite touching and at the bottom 0% is blacks and that's also not touching so what we want to do is stretch them out so it actually touches the first thing I do is grab this black knob and this is blacks mids and whites here and this is an overall adjustment so let's click this and you can also down and up arrow by the way for this so I'm using my down arrow and I'm just doing it so it barely touches right here is about good and then the white let's click that and open it up as well so now that our clip is properly exposed we can go into the actual color correction and now we're gonna come over to the color tab and we're just gonna do two adjustments to make this a warm feeling clip in this color tab, I want to adjust the midtones and the whites only. Just two things, and it's pretty simple. So I'm going to grab it, the midtones, and bring it down to the reddish blue area. And same with the whites. Let's bring those down, down to here. And we've got this kind of yellow tone, and so that's a lot warmer feel. But in the sample I showed you in the beginning, I had this pinkish cast in the sky, this color. And we want to add that in by adding another color correction filter. So this is the one Final Cut defaulted that we've adjusted. We add a new one by clicking this plus. You'll see it says number two. And for this one, we're going to click this shape mask, just like this. It creates a circle. And we're going to expand it to the side. I'm going to adjust it pretty large. And then let's go in and edit what we want. And we're going to want our whites, because the sky is white here possibly mids but mostly the whites to be a pinkish red so I'm gonna make it kind of extreme so we can see results like that if you want to adjust the mids you can do that as well and what I'm gonna do is drag this up the mask just so it's hitting barely the tip of the ocean right there and if we come back out we can turn this off the actual outline and it looks like I need to bring it up a little bit more so it's just barely hitting the water. Now the tricky part is if you have a shot that's moving around a lot and you want it to track, like this camera moves, you can keyframe it, but it's still, it's not like you're gonna get perfect tracking. So to keyframe it, what you do is click this little plus. It's created a keyframe. What I'm doing is keeping this dot right under here. So I'm gonna move it over. and it's still keyframing move it over more so this isn't gonna be the most accurate but in this shot it actually works fine to not even keyframe it because it's not moving around too much 
but it is something you have to consider if you have a moving shot when you do these shape masks. So let's turn off this little line icon and preview our shot. To me, it's a little too pink, so I would come in and adjust this second correction and just turn that pinkish sky down. And if you want to make it seem darker, like you just barely filmed this dusk look, come to the first color correction and under the exposure, we'll turn the whites down. And this is more of an after sunset style. So throw your own footage in here and play around with this style. It can turn your boring shots into something a little more exciting. And I've got some sweet stuff going on at FinalCutKing.com. Go check it out. And if you want to suggest a tutorial, go on over to my Twitter and my Facebook page. I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial.